My friends, it has been quite some time. I hope you all have been doing well. I've been doing great and having a lot of fun. And I've still been flying drones here and there, but kind of took a break from making videos and it's been great, you know, enjoying other stuff. As you can see, I've been having a ton of fun, a little too much fun with two wheeled vehicles. But lately, I've been really into a one wheeled vehicle. A one wheel, a one, a one wheel. So these one wheels are super popular in the FPV world. So for years, I've, I've had chances to ride these off and on, but I don't know, I was never interested in owning one. I was always kind of happy with the boosted board that I had, but then I don't know, I just got thinking, I want to be able to ride with my hands free and I want to be able to just ride over more stuff like this bump right here, boom, that alone would be a little bit gnarly for the boosted board. And I just love the flexibility of the one wheel. I finally got on board and I think the thing that really pushed me over the edge was the ability to do tricks. Seeing like the tricks you could do, like a little bonk right here. Woo! Woo! That kind of got me just ah, really excited seeing how riders were really pushing what they could do with the one wheel. And so that's what I wanted to chat about today. My three favorite tricks on the one wheel. I am not a um, very good rider or anything like that. I've only, you know, been seriously riding this uh, one wheel GT for a couple of months since I've got it, but I've been having fun and just reliving a lot of the fun I had uh, doing skateboard tricks back in the day. And it's like a whole different flavor with the one wheel. You know, it's like a little bit of a skateboard vibe, but kind of more carvy like a snowboard. It's just fun to just ride around and just kind of trick off oh, every little thing on the way. Every little obstacle, there's something you can do. Like, let me see with this parking block. Can I get it? Oh, it's sloppy. Okay, so my first favorite trick on the one wheel is the bonk. It's basically the most fundamental way that you can get some air on the one wheel. Right here, let's go. Oh, <laughs> that's the bonk. So one wheels just don't really lend themselves to popping like a skateboard. Like you can't like, like that's, that's how you stop. You push down. So that's not going to pop it. And even if you could, they're really too heavy to ollie. Sure. You could do like the flight fins and then kind of do that bunny hop that people can do. But I like keeping this feeling like a skateboard, being able to jump on it and stuff like that. So if I want to get some air, I got a bonk. So I need a little obstacle and these things are perfect. And you just kind of, Oh yeah. I'm not very good at it. These are, these are little bonks. You need something that's not quite as big as a curb. These are perfect. They're like parking blocks that have kind of sunk into the ground a little bit, but you can bonk off of all sorts of stuff. If you're off pavement, roots are always really fun. Or even if you're on pavement, even just like cracks in the sidewalk sometimes can get you a little bit, but this is really nice, right? Oh, I mean, even though I'm still kind of new and my bonks aren't that big yet, they're just still so much fun. I don't know why, even though I'm in, only in the air for a split second, like you just feel that like, whoo, and it's just, it's just nice. <sighs> One of my favorite bonks is right up here. It's like a bonk to a drop. It always kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, this guy right here. See, so you got a sunken parking block again, but then it drops off. There's a bit of a downhill. I just always, this one always freaks me out. It's just a mental thing. We're gonna commit, we're gonna commit, we're gonna commit. Ah, I'm so, I just gotta commit, just gotta commit. <laughs> we technically did it, we did it. Went like a little bit bigger though. <sighs> that one felt better. Now, number two on my list of favorite tricks is gonna be the shove it. Oh, that was so ugly. I set the camera down because I do not think I'm going to be able to do a clean one while holding the camera. So with my free hands, let's see if I can get it around. Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'll take that. Two in a row. 
Nope. So again, coming from a skateboard background, this is just a really fun trick. But they're different because you can't pop them. Like on a skateboard, you would like pop it, and you can't you can't pop these. You're not the board's not going up in the air. You're just kind of like shoving it around, and that was really challenging for me because having experience doing an actual pop shove it on a skateboard, you like scoop those, and with these, you have to really think about keeping the board flat so it doesn't do what you saw it do where it went on its side and I went, oh! And it's just, it's just, it's weird like kind of learning a new muscle memory for it. Ah, come on, come on, hold it, there it is. So I've headed over to this new spot because I want to play with these curves. Because the third trick on my list of favorite tricks is the curb nudge. So this is similar to a bonk but a little bit different. So with a bonk, if you've got a bump or something that's two, maybe three inches tops, you just kind of lower the nose and bump the board into it, jump, catch a little air, it's really fun. But once you start getting to larger bumps like with curbs, you can't really bonk it, so you're gonna do something else instead that's called a nudge. And gosh, it's hard to explain, but you're more like kind of pushing the nose down and trying to bite the wheel in so that the power of the board will climb you up. This trick has been the hardest one for me to learn. Still not very good at it, can't do it every time. Ugh. See, that's what happens to me all the time. This trick is all about timing. You gotta push it down at the right time with the right force and kind of shove it forward and de-weight. And if you get it all just right, oh, we got it, there we go. Woo. So this is about as big of a curve as I can really do right now. You can see that there's still some clearance between the nose and the curb. Gives you a little bit more room for error, I think at least. But the guys that are really good at this, I mean they can do curbs that are all the way up to here where you really have to like ramp your board up it. I'd like to try. Let's so see if we can find a bigger curb to play with. Curb nudges had to be on my list of favorite tricks because it completely changes how you can ride and that you don't need to go around and look for like smooth transitions or worse, actually get off your board and step up a curb. Ugh, who wants to do that? You can just kind of nudge up it <laughs> and, and keep going. So it really opens up the paths that you can take. Woo, we're navigating here. It gives you so much more freedom when riding around the city. Now this curb right here, I think is taller than anything I've done before. So the nose can still just barely clear it, but yeah, you can see it's a totally different story. I think the timing is gonna be a lot tighter. I've, I've never been able to do one this tall. So hopefully, just the pressure of the vlog is gonna help will me up this thing. <coughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Not even close. How is that? How did those guys do that? Oh, it definitely. Okay, it like went a little up. Oh, come on, just just go, just go up your step. I think I just gotta give it more of like a whoop, wah, ah. Okay. This is so hard. This is so hard. Come on. Oh, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Oh, oh it always feels so good doing something new. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Yes! Getting something new down or pushing something to a new level is always just such a rewarding feeling. Hey everyone, look, it's Chad. Hey Chad, how you doing? I did a video about my three favorite tricks. What are your, th mine are, Bonk, shove it, 
and uh, curb nudge. Yeah, bonk's my number one, I think. Bonk number one. I do like drops. drops. I like drops, and I like just general freestyle stuff, you know? Oh, yeah, show me your craziest, weirdest freestyle thing. <laughs> oh, I think the rain is going to end our session. I think you got like one more go at this. Hey, a little bit. Okay, okay, well, I guess we're just going to get under here. Well, that just happened so fast. I guess that's the end of our fun. We barely got the session. Dang it. Well, the rain ended our session a little bit earlier than I would have hoped, but I had a great time getting out today and doing some of my favorite tricks. If you're in riding these things and doing tricks on them, let me know what your favorite trick is. Like, what should I learn next? Because I'm just having a lot of fun playing with the one wheel, trying different things on it. And I had a lot of fun getting back out and making a video today. I know it's been a long time and I appreciate everyone that's been leaving comments saying that they, they want some more videos. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been nice taking a little bit of a break and yeah, I'm not sure if, uh, if I'm gonna start posting more regularly or not. You know, thankfully I'm in a position where I don't need to make content for this channel. I can just do it when it's fun and I know it was fun today and I know that I always appreciate you guys hanging out. So thanks for being here. Thanks for going along on the ride and I'll see you again next time. Ah. <laughs>